For anyone who plays keyboards, using velocity to control dynamics is probably the most intuitive approach for letting us play sounds at different dynamic levels based on how hard or soft we play. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the world of velocity switching and its close cousin, velocity crossfading, with two goals in mind. One is to understand why some velocity switched instruments, like the classical guitar, seem so tonally restricted while other velocity switching sounds like the pizzicato violins seem to have a much wider range of expression. And two, what, if anything, can be done to overcome the problem of limited timbral dynamic range in velocity switching instruments. And we'll get started by taking a look at how a velocity switching instrument is made. On a typical sampling session, players record each note at different dynamic levels. Then the samples are loaded into the sampler plugin from softest to loudest and each one is given a velocity range in which it will be triggered. Now I'm going to play this note several times, each time with increasing velocity and... In a nutshell, that's how velocity switching instruments are made and that's how they work. What you're looking at here is a contact instrument, and one of the great things about contact is that you can dive in and see all the different programming details. So let's look at another contact instrument, this one being one of the stock marimba sounds. And as you can see, there are two samples for each note. There's a soft sample and a loud one. The soft samples are triggered at velocities between 1 and 87, and the loud samples trigger at velocities between 88 and 127. Now I'm going to play this sound starting at a velocity of 1 and slowly increase the velocity and notice how the sound gets louder but not also brighter. The reason the sound gets louder is because velocity is also being used simultaneously to create an artificial increase in the volume level but the note is really just triggering the same sample over and over again through the values of 1 to 87. Then at a velocity threshold of 88, the loud sample gets triggered instead. At the threshold, there's a very sudden and obvious shift in the sound because the timbre of the soft and loud samples are pretty far apart from one another. Now, just like a piano, a marimba is capable of producing many, many more subtleties and gradations of tone than what's provided for here by a single soft sample and a single loud sample for every note. So one way to sort of simulate the missing in-between timbral variations is to use a technique called velocity crossfading. And with this technique, the ranges of the samples are allowed to overlap. And the idea here is that as the velocity increases into the overlapping area, it's going to blend in a little bit of the loud sample with the soft sample. And that simulates a gradual shifting of timbre from soft to loud. Here's a little marimba part that uses the stock marimba sound without the velocity crossfading. And as you can see by the little red lines, the notes fall on either side of the divide. And I think a fair transcription of this part would look something like this, where the loud notes are simply accents. So now I'm going to swap it with the cross-faded version.
Notice how the part sounds not only a little bit fuller, but it also sounds more musical and has a nice sense of internal phrasing. By the way, pretty much any velocity switching contact sound can be modified to utilize velocity crossfading. Now this stock marimba sound that came with the complete package is not very complex and is very easy to modify. On the flip side, there are many third party contact sounds that are very complex and not that easy to modify. But if you'd like to learn how to do this, I'd highly recommend checking out chapter nine of Scott Freeman's video course on building contact sampler instruments. And in an upcoming tutorial in this course, I'm going to walk you through how to quite easily switch between velocity switching and crossfading in Vienna instrument sounds.